Good morning, everyone. Today is the 8th of November, and today we're going to be looking at the first chapter of Isaiah. It's not a short chapter by any means. It's it's 31 verses. I think it's interesting the way um, the prophet Isaiah starts his book and his prophecies. Of course, we know everything he said was ordained of God. There wasn't anything that Isaiah said that wasn't ordained of God. It starts out by saying the vision of Isaiah. He was the son of Amos. And it says what he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah. During the times of the kings of Judah. But one of the things that I I can say is that, now some people will disagree with me on this, but I believe that the prophets are concurrent. What I mean by that is I think that the prophets, um, many of their prophecies are applicable to, for today. They're not just, it's just not applicable during the time of the kings of Judah, but it's applicable for today. We can see that in the 53rd chapter of Isaiah. It's applicable for all of God's elect. He says, Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. Sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel into anger. They are gone away backward. Does that sound familiar to today? I think it's very uh, apropos for today. Why should you be stricken anymore? You, you will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart is faint. And you're going to tell me that there's a spark of good in people? Isaiah says the whole head is sick and the whole heart is faint. That's called total depravity. From the sole of the foot even under the head there's no soundness in it but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land Strangers devour it in your presence, and it is desolate as overthrown by strangers. Does that sound familiar today? Millions and millions of people coming into this country. Criminals from every other country, degenerates. Burning and pilfering cities. The daughter of Zion is left as a cottage and a vineyard, as a lodge and a garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city. Except the Lord of the hosts had left us a small remnant, we should have been a Sodom and we should have been likened to Gomorrah. Well, as it was in the days of Sodom, we're told, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. We see Sodomites ruling our nation. They call themselves gays. They have what they call pride parades. It's been going on for a long time, folks. 25 years ago, I was terminated for standing up against this perversion, you know. Hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom. Give ear unto the law of our God, ye people of Gomorrah. 
To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me, saith the Lord? I'm full of burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed beasts. I delight not in the blood of bullocks or of lambs or of he, he goats. You know, here they're talking about reinstituting animal sacrifices over there in Jerusalem. They already got the red heifer and everything. It's a stench in the nostrils of God is what it is. When you come to appear before me, who hath required this at your hand to tread my cords? Bring no more vain oblations, and since this is an abomination to me, I, it makes me want to puke when I see Pope Francis walking around with his incense and you know, smoke and, and scattering it around, throwing what he calls holy water on people. I cannot away with it. It is iniquity, even the solemn meetings. Your new moons and your appointed feasts my soul hateth. They are a trouble unto me. I am weary to bear them. I attended a messianic Jewish service and they were talking about all the holy days. You know, Rosh Hashanah and all these different things. Worse you make you clean, put away the evil of your doings from me before mine eyes. Cease to do evil. Learn to do well. Seek judgment. Relieve the oppressed. Judge the fatherless. Plead for the widow. Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red like chim crimson, they shall be as wool. If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. You know, there's only, we're told in Psalm 110, 4, he will make us willing in the day of his power. I've never said the man doesn't have a will. i said it's just not free. It's either in bondage to sin or it's, it's uh, found liberty in Christ. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured with the sword for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. This is Isaiah giving, I think, timely prophecy for us today. Today, everybody thinks they're going to remedy all of the United States problems by going out and voting. What a joke, you know. Going to pick the lesser of the two evils. Do you want a murder or do you want a liar, you know? The princes are, it says the silver, I got ahead of myself. How has the faithful city become a harlot? It was full of judgment, righteous lodged in it, but now murders? The silver has become dross, thy wine is mixed with water, thy princes are rebellious. When we look at our princes, the people that are running for political office in this country, how can we embrace these people? Are you, have you drunk in the Trump or the Biden Kool-Aid. Thy princes are rebellious and companions of thieves. Every one loveth gifts and followeth after rewards. They judge not the fatherless, neither doth the cause the, uh, the widow come unto them. Therefore saith the Lord, the Lord of hosts, the mighty one of Israel, I will ease me of mine adversaries and avenge me of mine enemies. And I will turn my hand upon thee and purely purge away thy dross and take away all thy tin. And I will restore thy judges as at first and thy counselors at the beginning. Afterwards thou shalt be called the city of righteousness and a faithful city. We're going to see the new Jerusalem coming down out of God out of heaven one of these days. And in it will dwell no sin, no abominations, no wickedness. Zion shall be de redeemed with judgment, the converts with righteousness, and the destruction of the transgressors and the sinners shall be together, and they that forsake the Lord shall be consumed. It says that when he comes back, they're going to cry for the rocks and the mountains to fall on them. They're going to seek refuge in the caves and the dens of the earth. 
For they shall be ashamed of the oaks which ye have desired, and ye shall be confounded for the gardens that ye have chosen. For he, ye shall be as an oak whose leaf fadeth, and as a garden that hath no water, and the strong shall be as tow, and the maker of it as a spark, and they shall both burn together. None shall quench them. Well, the Bible says there's going to be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth, and it says that the fire will never go out, will not be quenched. There are people now that deny eternal hell and eternal fire. Billy Graham denied it. There are many other people that have denied Scripture and tried to explain it away, just like they try to explain a lot of things away. But this... um vision of Isaiah I think is apropos for today I think it's very um, points to, to right now what we're going through and the Bible says you know come out from among them and be ye separate saith the Lord touch not the unclean thing I don't want any part and parcel of politics you know Anyway, I'm going to have Mark read through this again, and uh, I think that we need to examine ourselves. We're in the faith. We need to make our calling and election sure. And the only way we can do, like I said this morning in the in the you know scripture, is like the prophet Jeremiah said, turn us and we will be turned. By the way, David said the same thing in the Psalms. Turn us and we will be turned. We can't turn ourselves. Only God can cause us to and turn us, turn our hearts to him and cause us to repent. The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah, in Jerusalem, the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Ezekiah, kings of Judah. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth. The Lord has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. Ah, sinful nation of people laden with iniquity, the seed of evil doers, children, the corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backward. Why should we be stricken any more? You revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot even unto the head, there is no soundness in it. The wounds and bruises and putrefying sores, they have not been closed and are bound up to mollify with ointment. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land strangers devour it. And your presence is desolate and overthrown by strangers. The daughter of Zion is left. The cottage and the vineyard is lodged in the garden of cucumbers. This besieged city. Except the Lord of hosts had left us unto a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom. We should have been like in the Gomorrah. Hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom. Give ear unto the law of our God, ye people of Gomorrah. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifice unto me? Saith the Lord, I am full of the burnt offering of rams and the um, fat of seed, fed beasts. I delight not in the blood of bullocks or of lambs or of he goats. You come to appear before me, who has required this at your hand to tread my courts. Bring no more vain obl oblations and sense to an abomination unto me. To new moons and Sabbaths, the calling of the assemblies, I cannot away with it. It's iniquity, even the solemn meeting. Your new moons and your appointed peace, my soul hateth. They are trouble unto me. I'm weary to bear them. And when ye spread forth your heads, I will hide my eyes from you. Yea, when you make many prayers, I will not hear your hands are full of blood. Bless you, make you clean, put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. Cease to do evil, learn to do well. 
Seek judgment, relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, plead for the widow. Come now and let us reason together to say to the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. To be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. To be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured with the sword. The mouth, the Lord has spoken it. How has the city become a harlot? It was full of judgment, and righteous laws, in it, but now murders. Thy silvers become dross, thy wine mixed with water. Thy princes are rebellious and companions of thieves. Every one loveth gifts, followeth after rewards. They judge not the fatherless, neither doth the cause of widow come to them. Therefore saith the Lord, the Lord of hosts, the mighty one of Israel, Ah, I will ease me of my adversaries and avenge me of my enemies, and I will turn my hand upon thee and purge, purge away thy dross. Take away all thy tin. Restore thy judges as the first, and thy counsel as beginning. Afterward, as shall be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. Zion shall be redeemed with judgment, and our converse with righteousness and the destruction of the transgressors. The sinners shall be gathered, and they that forsake the Lord shall be consumed. For they shall be ashamed of the go- oats, oaks which they have desired shall be confounded with the gardens that ye have chosen. For ye shall be as an oak, whose leaf fadeth as a garden that hath no water. Strong shall be his toe, and the maker of his spark, and they shall burn together, and none shall quench them. First chapter, third chapter. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I hope you all have a blessed day today, and let us uh, continue in God's word.